Google, Gatorade, seatbelts, insulin, pacemakers, DNA testing, all have something in common. They started out as university research and became big business. Every idea or technology that makes the leap from the lab to the marketplace has the potential to create jobs and boost the economy. But... The expectations have to be realistic. Um, if you expect university inventions to make a great deal of money, you're going to be sadly mistaken. A large part of it is simply luck. Some inventions make a lot of money. Google, huge amounts of money for Stanford University, uh, huge amounts of money for its founders, but that's the rare example. Focus on how it is you move basic discoveries out of university labs into the private sector. So it's a hugely complex problem, not only because these inventions are very early stage, they're embryonic, they're very risky, subject to high failure rate, failure when you think about commercialization, not about value to society necessarily. At a Research One institution, such as the University of Arizona, the university is obligated to help its faculty advance their discoveries to apply them for the greater good. Working to provide the kind of information to the community that we work with. At the U of A, the responsibility for helping faculty move inventions and ideas to the commercial market belongs to TechLaunch Arizona. Any prospect they take on begins a long journey. Technology transfer is the securing of intellectual property that's created from the research process at the university, primarily through patents, but also copyrights, and then finding a home for that technology. And by that I mean a commercial partner that will further develop and then pull a product together around that technology and sell it. In order to be attractive to a commercial partner, the discovery needs to be unique. The technology that we're talking about, does it have the features and solve the kind of uh, problems better than something today and hopefully better than something coming up pretty soon behind it? One company that is getting support from TechLaunch is Anavax, a partnership among researchers at U of A, Arizona State University, and Washington University in St. Louis. Founded in January 2015, Anavax has developed a vaccine for Campylobacter, a strain of bacteria carried by chickens that can cause illness if the poultry is undercooked. In the United States, over a million people become sick with Campylobacter, and we spend about $1.3 billion in healthcare expenses associated with bacteria. The vaccine that we've developed here is not a 5% improvement. It's not a 10% improvement. It's a 30 times reduction in Campylobacter in the chicken. U of A researchers have been studying the problem since 2007. TechLaunch provided funding to help Anavax accelerate development by supporting proof-of-concept studies. The proof-of-concept took the vaccine from the laboratory to actually proving that it worked. And that's a very time-consuming and expensive process, but it's necessary. And it really has to be done in a university setting. And so when Anavex was started, we already had a fair amount of test results that were conducted at the University of Arizona, paid for by the USDA. So it really gave us some credibility to create partnerships to further advance the vaccine much quicker than if we had to start from the testing stage. Buttery is confident Anavax will find a commercial partner to take over the technology and market it. Despite the odds that inventions face, a recent success bolsters the hope that TechLaunch's efforts will result in more economic and societal impact to Tucson and Arizona. Symphonia Rx, a spin-off from the U of A's College of Pharmacy, helps people with chronic illnesses manage multiple medications. It's estimated that we spend about $200 billion a year on prescription medications, and then we spend another $200 billion a year managing unnecessary side effects or um, unnecessary healthcare expenses associated with the use of those medications. In 2006, Bozen, a U of A pharmacy assistant professor, developed a software program to look for those drug interactions. When we started in 2006, I hired six of my friends for the most part to help me develop the program. 
And internally, I think I had a goal to try to keep them employed five years. I had no idea that we'd be as successful and it would be able to expand as much as we have. We grew to almost 100 employees while we were within the university by the time we spun out in 2013. And then in the last two years, we've just had incredible growth. We're close to 300 employees between Symphonia RX, the University of Arizona, and The Ohio State University. Symphonia RX's medication management technology has recently been adopted by retail giant Walmart. It will allow its pharmacists to help patients avoid costly and potentially dangerous drug reactions. We would not have had the opportunities that we've had without TechLaunch. TechLaunch was critical in, in helping us find the right partner. Um, not only the financial support that we needed to become independent, but really the, the, the right mentor and good partner for us. How they react to a proposal like this. In its second full year of operation, Tech Launch Arizona received 213 faculty inventions and supported 13 startup companies. David Allen and his team hope to exceed those figures next year. What becomes of those inventions and the impact they will have remains uncertain. A few university inventions do quite well. Most of them really don't. Uh, and so the, the key thing to remember is the purpose of the research is whether or not we advance knowledge and whether or not we disseminate that knowledge through our students. This is a peripheral issue. This is kind of gravy.